Here we go, video number two, publishing today on the channel. The running shoes are sitting in this box, and basically, like, listen, I don't necessarily need this shoe, right? Like, I've got a lot of running shoes, but I'm reading your comments, and a lot of you are interested in me reviewing the shoe for you, especially as the road racing season kicks up here pretty soon, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, and so this shoe, I think, is gonna have a lot of versatility for it, all right? So you'll be able to use it for different purposes. Um, and so yeah, YouTube comments, Instagram comments, Strava. So so I finally decided, all right, uh, I'm going to buy it. And guess what? Runner's Roost today. I probably called 20 different running shoe stores trying to find this shoe. Like, not only did, like, nobody even had it in their store in any size. It's crazy. It's a little crazy. Like, I didn't, and I didn't want to order it online. I wanted to go to a, a running shoe store and try it out on my own two feet. So thank you, Runner's Roost, for not only carrying this shoe, but for having my size. It was incredible and my favorite color. It's amazing. It's a mere it's a minor miracle, frankly. All right, enough talking. Shall we pull it out? And yes, if you want to make a guess, guess right now before I pull it out. Hit pause. Guess below what is the shoe and do do uh, do a uh, guess and then a colon and then what shoe you think it is. All right. Here you go. You got 10 seconds. Here you go. 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 oh, It's another Nike. Oh baby, what Nike is it? Here we go. Oh baby, the Nike Zoom Fly Flyknit. That's right. Okay, and I realize I'm a little late to the game. This shoe was released in September 2018. Basically, uh, and I should mention right off the bat, it does have a carbon fiber plate through the midsole. So it's got a lot of people's attention moving forward for the racing season coming up. And it's a little more affordable, the, actually a lot more affordable than the Nike Vaporfly 4% Flyknit. So if you don't want to drop 250 bucks on the Nike Vaporfly 4% Flyknit or now the Asics Meta Ride, which I will not purchase. I refuse to purchase the Asics Meta Ride. But basically, if you don't want to drop $250, this guy is coming in at $160 right now, which I realize is a lot of money. Like, that's a lot of money for a running shoe, $160. But you might be able to kill two birds with one stone with this shoe, meaning I think, and I've heard this from other runners as well, this shoe will be good for training and for racing. How many times do you have to buy, like you're, you're getting ready for a big peak race and you buy a new pair of trainers and you have to go out and, you know, maybe buy a new pair of racing flats or like a shoe that's a little lighter or a little more responsive. I think this shoe is made for training, for tempo runs, uh, lactate threshold runs, uh, just like that good, like six to 10 mile tempo run. And I think I will use this shoe for potentially 10K and especially half marathon races. Yes, and marathons. I think you could race in this shoe for a marathon, absolutely. There's probably maybe a few lighter options out there, and we'll put this on the scale in a minute to get you a weight, but isn't that exciting? Definitely a shoe that, which I realize, again, $160, but if you only have to buy one shoe for an entire training block, or at least like the second half of a training block, um, but obviously the big question will become the durability of this React foam. Uh, the Nike React cushioning is what is through this midsole. It's a 33 millimeter stack height in the heel, 23 millimeter stack height in the forefoot, so a 10 millimeter drop. So Nike is really like they are all in on this 10 millimeter drop business. And so far, I don't really have complaints about that. I know some folks don't like such a high drop. In fact, I think the sweet spot is right around six. I really like the six. I'm not afraid of the 10, but I don't know. I Based on all the shoes that I've worn, six seems to be the sweet spot for my gait and my, my uh, foot strike. And moving on, it's that fly knit upper. It's got these uh, like zones of um, yarn that are sewed in a particular way to give you a little more, a little more structure to the fly knit because that has been a concern with a lot of people. They feel like their foot 
in is in especially in the four percent is going to slide right off the midsole when they're turning corners especially in a road race uh you know if you're going at pretty high speeds so we will see i'll let you know how the upper is kind of locking my foot down onto that midsole and again the midsole has the carbon fiber plate through the midsole so you know you got the four percent fly knit you got the hoka carbon rocket for another uh carbon fiber plate option well you also have the nike zoom fly fly knit and let's let's put it on the scale let's see how much this guy weighs it's definitely feeling pretty good feeling pretty good all right let's go All right, seven and a half ounces, 213 grams for my size. So that probably goes up a little bit. So it's probably like 7.8 ounces for bigger shoe sizes. Uh, so not too shabby. That's actually pretty much on par with the Hoka Carbon Rocket. I think it's a smidge lighter, just a smidge lighter than the Hoka Carbon Rocket. And I will be doing comparisons between the Zoom Fly and some other shoes that I own definitely the carbon rocket most likely the four percent probably the audi zero uh audios four from adidas uh just to put it through the paces and see like how does it stack up against some other uh racers out there and again i think 10k half marathon is the sweet spot especially that half marathon is what i'm feeling and uh and the marathon to a certain extent and zoom is the keyword for this video zoom down in the comments thanks for hitting it up and that question of the day, who now since this shoe has been out for so long, I bet there's quite a few of you out there who have at least tried this shoe on in a store. What did you think? Or if you own the shoe, what do you think? That is the question of the day. What do you think of the Zoom Fly Fly Knit? And if you have raced in the Zoom Fly Fly Knit, let us know the distance and how it how it treated you uh, in a race. That's going to be like I'm really interested to see uh, how this shoe can be versatile in 2019 for training and for racing perhaps we will figure that out for you here on the youtube i think that is it i'm just gonna admire it for a minute here uh yeah just that nike react cushioning um the full length carbon fiber plate that flying it upper oh yeah smells like a new shoe oh that beautiful colorway that green and again a shout out to runner's roost for taking care of me having my size and there you have it that's right i'm listening to you thank you for the idea and the encouragement and oh uh, yeah i'll just put it out there if you want to encourage me to look into some other shoes as well don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments i will do my best to accommodate and uh, make sure we stay under budget as well right you got to do that too so i'm excited though for this guy especially once the uh snow melts outside so seek beauty work hard and love each other oh man gosh get me going youtube you get me going i just gotta go i, I want to go run like right now but it's like 9 30 p.m so i better just simmer down see you tomorrow